Hey everybody, today, Wednesday, February 9th, is the day you're going to finish writing your reflective narrative. Under practice, I've given you the example that we looked at earlier in the week of the girl who did receive um, a great score of six. So as you're writing your own reflective narrative, use hers as an example. You will want to make sure that you use a variety of different sentences. We talked about how she has sentences that end in periods. Uh, she has sentences um, here that end in exclamation marks. She also has dialogue in her story where she and her mom are talking back and forth or where they're talking to the waiter. The part of hers that's the reflective part where she looks back on and she reflects on the experience that happens down here um, towards the end of her story. And she says that I thought I would hate the food, but once I took a bite, I fell in love. Many people nowadays have gotten used to the food they eat daily and dislike trying new things. That was me at one point, but ever since I had eaten at L how do we say the Mexican name? I'm into trying new things every day. I eat a variety of foreign foods such as Chinese, Japanese, Mexican, Bosnian. The list goes on. The experience means a lot to me because it's a positive thing to be trying out new stuff. Not only will it let you eat amazing food, but it will let you see how different parts of the world live their lives and their culture. I sure do hope you visit many different restaurants and see what food is best for you. So as you are writing yours, remember to use hers as, as an example. She scored a six. Her, hers was very detailed. We can visualize as almost as if we were there with her at the restaurant. So give good description, give good details, make sure you use a variety of sentences and don't forget to reflect on the experience and tell what you learned from experience from your experience